Welcome to a lesson on the linearization of nonlinear systems of differential equations. Recall back in section 3.5, we studied the behavior of a homogeneous linear system of two equations near a critical point. For a linear system of two variables given by an invertible matrix, the only critical point is the origin 0, 0. Let us put the understanding we gained in that section to good use, understanding what happens near critical points of nonlinear systems. In calculus, we learned to estimate a function by taking its derivative and linearizing. We work similarly with nonlinear systems of ordinary differential equations. Suppose x sub zero comma y sub zero is a critical point. First change variables to u comma v so that u comma v is equal to the origin zero comma zero corresponds to x sub zero comma y sub zero. That is, we let u equal x minus x sub zero and v equal y minus y sub zero. As an example, if two comma negative three is a critical point, x sub zero equals two, y sub zero equals negative three, and therefore we let u equal x minus two, and v equal y plus three. Next we need to find the derivative. In multivariable calculus, you may have seen that the several variables version of the derivative is a Jacobian matrix. The Jacobian matrix of the vectored valued function, given by f of x comma y, g of x comma y, at the critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero, is the given two by two matrix. In the first row, we have the partial of f with respect to x at x sub zero comma y sub zero, and then we have the partial of f with respect to y at x sub zero comma y sub zero. In the second row, we have the partial of g with respect to x at x sub zero comma y sub zero, followed by the partial of g with respect to y at x sub zero comma y sub zero. This matrix gives the best linear approximation as u and v, and therefore x and y vary. We define the linearization of the equation 8.1 shown here on the left as a linear system shown here on the right. The linearization is the derivative of the vector uv equals a Jacobian evaluated at the critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero times the vector uv. Let's take a look at an example. Let's go back to our previous example of 8.1.1 where we have the system x prime equals y and y prime equals negative x plus x squared. Recall the two critical points are zero comma zero and one comma zero. To begin, since x prime equals y and y prime equals negative x plus x squared, we have f of x comma y equals y and g of x comma y equals negative x plus x squared. Next we determine the Jacobian matrix. Next we determine the Jacobian matrix, where again the first row we have the partial of f with respect to x and the partial of f with respect to y. The partial of y with respect to x is zero, the partial of y with respect to y is one, in the second row we have the partials of g. The partial of g with respect to x is negative one plus two x, and the partial of g with respect to y is zero. Next we let u equal x minus x sub zero, and v equal y minus y sub zero. Using the first critical point of zero comma zero, we let u equal x and v equal y. The last step is evaluate the Jacobian matrix at the critical point zero comma zero, which gives us a two by two matrix shown below where the first row is zero, one, and the second row is negative one, zero. And therefore, when u is equal to x and v is equal to y, the linearization is equal to the derivative of the vector uv equals a two by two matrix with entries zero, one, and negative one, zero, times the vector uv. We can also write this as u prime equals v, and v prime equals negative u. And now we go through the process again using the second critical point of one comma zero. Since the critical point is one comma zero, now we have u equals x minus one and v equals y. Before we find the linearization, we do have to evaluate the Jacobian matrix again at the point one comma zero. So when x is one and y is zero, the first row of the Jacobian matrix is still zero, one, but the second row is now one, zero. Notice when x is one, the entry in row two, column one, is negative one plus two, giving us a positive one. So when u is equal to x minus one and v equals y, the linearization is equal to the derivative of the vector uv, which is equal to the two by two matrix with entries zero, one, one, zero, times the vector uv, which we can also express as u prime equals v and v prime equals u. It is important when giving the linearization that we indicate the expressions for u and v. So let's take a look at this graphically. The phase diagram of the two linearizations at the point zero comma zero and one comma zero are given in figure 8.2 below. Note the variables are now u and v, 
Recall the point u comma v is always the origin zero comma zero. If we compare this to figure 8.2 in the upper right, which is the phase diagram for the original system, notice the linearization at the point zero comma zero is a good approximation of the phase diagram around the point zero comma zero, and the linearization at the point one comma zero is a good approximation of the original phase diagram at the point one comma zero. I hope you found this helpful.